How you doing everybody? Rob here, Trev2323. If you remember a couple years ago, I showed you about the leak my Astro Van had on the roof right there. The roof line, I was dripping on the inside of it. And it was dripping actually off of uh, right in here. Is where it was dripping on the here and then dripping all right in here. Okay, now if you can see, I have a towel on my dashboard right now because I procrastinated uh, the drip came back uh the drip came back probably in the summertime just real small didn't rain much so i just kind of put it off and ah, i'll do it later i'll do it later well it rained so bad all day yesterday and i had a monsoon inside my van i mean i literally had water all over the floor and everything inside my van it was running like crap so i know my electrical stuff started getting bad so actually i'm drying out my van right now i'm not even gonna drive it for a couple days so what i bought this time right now just to fix it and i should have done it the first time actually flex seal clear this dang can of flex seal is 14 bucks but look it It already started to dry. It says it takes 48 hours to cure, but it don't look actually that bad. And what I did is uh, I was hauling some stuff for somebody on the top of my van. So I was thinking, well, maybe because it looked like there was sealed in front still, maybe I'm leaking from my roof rack because that is a possibility. So with this one can of Flex Seal, I even sprayed my roof rack. So uh, it's supposed to be pretty much uh, for rub I mean, a rubberized coating, uh, roof leaks, gutters. Well, right there when it says roof leaks, the one bad thing about the sun, the sun and the weather will really dry and rot something in and really, really, really make it uh, uh, deteriorate rated really bad. So that's what, like, I used outdoor caulk. And the outdoor caulk, actually, I figured it would have lasted pretty long, but I guess it didn't. Now, if you look i do have one little signature dripping down right in the middle so i'll get up there with a razor blade and get it off but pretty for the much part it looks like it's gonna seal pretty good i'll put a second coat on down the road but i just want to let you know for the astro van they're notorious for those roof leaks and if you look up there you can't even tell that it's on there and i got two thick coats on there You'll probably tell more in the sunlight, but for right now, I really don't care. And for the roof rack, you can't even tell. I mean, I'm short anyways, but you can't tell. So if you're stuck in the winter and it's cold and you don't know what the hell to do, your roof's leaking, man. I use this. This is what I did and uh, wish me luck. I, you know, I do all my updates and everything, so you see that. Another thing what I'm going to do coming up pretty soon, I'll probably wait till the summertime, is I know this van was in front and damaged before. So I'm actually going to take the doghouse off and i'm going to take the hood off right here and i'm going to close the doors and i'm going to pour water a bucket of water just slowly a pitcher of water to see if i get any leaks underneath my doghouse but either way thanks for watching subscribe like share thank you bye bye all right it's st I'm stuck in bed now because i hurt my ankle so i'm editing all these other videos that i got and this actually did work really good the problem i had with it was the it overlapped where my the door opens so when it rained on the passenger side it wouldn't let the water go down the drain along the windshield so that dripped a little bit in the corner but with a razor blade i cut that off and then it's probably about a year or two later and it still is dry in there so that did work really good